In this lecture, we are going to talk about the fundamental definition of optimization problem and what are the main components to formulate an optimization problem. Right, so let's get started with what is optimization. Our goal is to achieve the optimal possible outcome in a given situation. So what does that mean? That means you want to make a decision. For example, you want to find the optimal path between point A and point B. You want to find the optimal combination of, combination of products that can uh, maximize your benefit out of a shopping and so on. But uh, we want to ask a few questions to see how to see how we can formulate this problem. The first question is, what are the variables in the system? All right, what does this mean? This means what are our flexibility? What degrees of freedom do we have when we want to make a decision, when we want to optimize our goal? Second, what does optimal mean? So when we talk about optimizing, what do we mean? Is it going to be minimizing something or going to be maximizing something? That's another question that we want to answer. So the answer to the second question is, it might be different. It might be different by different people and different objectives. All right, what's the next question? The next question is, are there any limitations to the solution? So usually there are some limitations, we call them constraints that help uh, pushing our solution toward a more practical answer. And sometimes they lead to suboptimal outcomes. So, usually there are limitations, that are referred to as constraints. Which lead to suboptimal outcomes. All right, so let's go over this one more time. What is optimization? goal of an optimization is to achieve the optimal possible outcome in a given situation. For example, in every practical decision-making problem. But there are some uh, questions. First, what are the variables? What are the changes? What are the flexibilities that you have to make your objective optimal? Second, what does optimal mean? In different contexts, in different problems, optimal may have different definitions. Third, are there any limitations? 
Yes, sometimes there are limitations that we call them constraints. So in order to define an optimization problem, what do we need to do is to have three components. One, objectives. Two, variables. And three, constraints. So these are the three building blocks of an optimization problem. Now let's take a look at an example. Uh, assume that you have three tasks. Studying for TOEFL, studying for GRE, and you want to determine your study plan. All right, so for each of them, uh, you, you are given a curve that shows how your grade is a function of time. So exam one, TOEFL, it starts from 20%. This is your grade. If you don't study at all for TOEFL, you are going to get 20%. If you study six hours, this is time in hours. If you study six hours or more, you're going to get 100%. The second exam is GRE score. So for GRE, if you don't study, you will get 40%. If you study seven hours or more, you are going to get 100%. And finally, for the third exam, if you don't study, you get 10%. If you study eight hours or more, you will get 100%. The question is, if you want to optimally allocate your time to these three different tasks, how much time should you spend for each task? All right, now let's uh, try to find the components for our optimization problem. First, uh, what's our objective? So at the end of the day, we want to maximize the total grade. So our objective here is to maximize total grade. The second component or variables. So let's see what are our decision-making variables. What are the flexibilities that we have in solving this problem? First is the study time that we want to allocate to each of these tasks, right? So the first variable is a study time for each exam or for each task. So because we have one, two, three exams, so this one is going to be three variables. Another flexibility that we have, or the outcome is the grade for each task. So if you know how much time you are going to invest, for example, for the first exam, let's say you are going to invest T0. What will happen? 
you will know what's going to be your expected grade. So the grade for each task. This is also three variables. All right. So now we have all our variables. We know what's our objective. Let's see what are our constraints. So the first constraint is time, your total available time. Let's say you want to invest 20 hours on these three exams. Then you should enforce that limitation by defining a constraints. So we call it total available time, which is going to be one inequality constraint. We are going to talk in details about how to formulate this mathematically. At this point, we just want to have an idea of what is constraint. Another constraint is the learning curves that we have for each of these. Learning curves. So this also enforces three equality constraints. It refers to these curves that we have here. So what's going to be your grade as a function of the time that you're investing? The next one, the next constraint is the maximum value for each of your grades. So the maximum grade is 100%. So the maximum grade for one is 100%, for two is 100%, for three is 100%. What does that mean? That means you have three inequality constraints. And finally, the minimum preparing time per task is also another constraint. The minimum preparing time for each task. So it's also going to be three inequality constraints. This is a constraints that you can enforce to limit yourself uh, from the minimum time that you want to spend for each task. For example, you can define the minimum time for each task to be one hour to make sure that you go over the material for all of the three exams, for your uh, course exam, GRE, and TOEFL. All right, so now we have a general idea of the building blocks for this problem, our objective, our variables, and our constraints. So keep this uh, instance of the problem in mind. Now we want to tackle this problem from another perspective. In this one, our goal was to maximize total grade. Let's look at the problem from a different angle. First of all, let's write down what are the building blocks. One, objective function. Two, variables. And three, constraints. All right, now we want to minimize preparing time to meet the minimum requirement. This is a major difference. In the previous one, we wanted to maximize our total grade. But in this example, we want to minimize preparing time to only meet the minimum requirement. So probably it's going to be 
less time investment. All right. What are our variables? Our variables are similar to the previous case. We have preparing time. For each task, which is going to be three variables. And we also have the grade for each task, which is also going to be three variables. Now we get to the important part, constraints. So some of the constraints are similar to the previous scenario such as total available time. So your total available time is going to be one in equality constraints. Then we have the three constraints, three learning curve, constraints next we have the maximum grade constraint maximum grade 100 percent this is also three inequality constraints minimum preparing time It's going to be three inequality constraints. We have one additional constraint here. If you look at the objective function, it tells us minimizing preparing time to meet the minimum requirement. So how do we uh, enforce the minimum requirement? We do that by the average grade, uh, which is required for passing the average grade required to pass the exam. All right, so this is going to be a collective grade and it's only one equality constraint. So your average grade uh, for all these three exams together should not be below a certain level. So, or it should be equal to passing. So it's going to be one inequality constraint. So as you can see, even for the same problem, for the same problem setting, the objective and constraints could be different from different perspectives for different people. One person want to maximize their total grade, one person want to meet the minimum requirement. So they will have different objectives. So uh, the overview of this video, it was about what is optimization. So we mentioned that optimization is to solve a problem, to formulate and solve a problem, to achieve the optimal possible outcome in a given situation. Then we talked about building blocks of an optimization problem, objective function, variables, and constraints. And then we talked about different people, different situations may look like different for an optimization problem, even for the same problem. So uh, we talked about the exam example. 